Hiya! Welcome back to the channel, folks. Right, I am in Slovenia. Just on my way to Momo's to meet up with Martin, Joy and Jose and another special guest to start a trip to Hungary and Romania. Spent the last, well, this is the third day, really, doing all the twisties back down here from Blighty. So check that out now. Oh dear, someone crashed. Are you okay? And I can't find my keys. I still can't find my keys. That's good. I was just trying to switch off the comms and nearly put myself off the mountain. These roads in Germany, oh my god, I forgot how good they are. Are they Spain good? Mm, not so sure about that. I think the weather would probably um, be a minus point or two. However, I mean, look at the weather today. Oh, they're just mega. This is just Cali Moto set on winding, so the second twistiest option. Yesterday I did a mixture of winding and no motorways just to get from Cali to here. I'm sort of between Frankfurt and Stuttgart in Germany. Stunning, stunning. And I can't find my keys, I still can't find my keys, but I just stopped the bike and started it again. And it's, I mean, the keys have got to be on me somewhere. I can't find them. Oh, wow. Enjoy your day at work, folk. This is me working, by the way. Uh -huh. These roads are just so much fun. It's been like this all day, folks. Okay, it's quite slow for covering mileage. I've probably covered 150 miles so far today, but uh, wow, I mean, it's really just so much fun. I really needed this just to get back on the bike. Oh, regarding the missing key saga, I tried a little experiment. I thought, hang on, it's keyless, so the key has to be within range of the bike for it to start. So I started with my rucksack, took my rucksack off, put that up the road, about 10, 12 feet away, came back to the bike, and it wouldn't start. So that suggests the key is in the rucksack. And then I thought to myself, hang on, I've got my whole like service pack and everything, my logbook and everything with me. You need that just in case the old bill ask. And I thought, that's got a spare key in it, hasn't it? So I'm thinking it's probably just registering the spare key. That's why I can start the bike. But that's still... I'm not in a 30, am I? I don't think so. But that uh, still begs the question, well, where's my actual keys then? The ones that I left home with? Because the bike's keyless, so when will I have got the keys out? Which got me thinking about the journey yesterday, and I thought, oh, hang on a minute. I stopped for a... I had a pee when uh, I stopped for fuel at some point in Germany. That's the only time I can think of when I would have gone into my jacket pockets. And I'm thinking, I wonder, did I take my key out? Either that, or I just never brought the keys with me and they're sat at home in my garage. One way, you idiot, but at least you still got your key. The other way, oh no, I've lost my keys. And I think they're like a thousand pounds to get new ones with BMW. Either way, it's bloody good luck that I brought the spare key with me because that would have been game over that would have been the trip over and I would literally <laughs> I'd be stuck somewhere don't be like teapot girls and boys don't be like teapot just amazes me the houses are all so big here I keep looking at them and thinking nah they must be apartment blocks but they're people's own homes. They're just massive. All of them. Nationals! I don't know how you'd say that in Germany. Nationals! I don't know. <laughs> John, Andy, how'd you say nationals? Nationals! You'd never know we were in Austria, would you? I tell you what, traffic in Salzburg is pants. Good morning folks, this is well, the start of day three for me. I'm here at Hotel 
Huberschoft, uh, Huberschoft, in Chatau, H-U-T-T-A-U, with those two squiggly things over the U, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but I'm in Austria. We're about a third of the way between Salzburg and Villach. Villach, really nice place, uh, it wasn't too expensive at all, I think it worked out at, I think one night with breakfast, 71 euros I think it was, which isn't bad considering you're in Touristville. Yeah, speaking of which, there's some more bikes. But yeah, really? Daniel, the young lad at reception, he looked after me. Top lad. Speaks great English. I have whacked in a, a route between here and Momo's, set on winding roads. And look at that. Yeah, I sort of um, swapped throughout the day yesterday, coming through Germany between windy and no motorways. Just depending on what the sort of topography was like. I just played it by ear. If I needed to make up some time, I whacked it on no motorways. And the start of the day, I had it on windy, and it was so much fun. Coming into Austria, though, I had it set on um, no motorways, and it routed me directly through Salzburg. Don't do that. The traffic is horrendous. I'm loving this. I am loving being back on the road. <laughs> Look at that, look. Oh, it's good to be back, baby. I've missed these mountains. Austria is just stunning, isn't it? Like Switzerland, it's just beautiful. Love it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. to Daniel at that hotel I stayed at and he was saying really June, July, August that's peak biking season here but there are GS's everywhere <laughs> Lad. Oh, Crap of these hairpins. I've not edited it yet. When I do, you get a chance to watch the Switzerland trip I did with Mark at MMD Adventures. It's basically five days of me hating switchbacks. I mean, some people just swing them round, I, can't, I, I don't know, I just, I don't know why, can't do it. Left-handers are much better for me. Oh dear, someone crashed. Okay. Are you okay? Hello, Hello hi, is, is he okay? Yes, he's bad. Okay, you don't need help? No, no. Okay. okay. Oh, it's a shame. He's alright though, he's breathing. It's a sober reminder folks, isn't it? We do get carried away, you know, you start enjoying, I do it. You hear me whooping and hollering. I like to think my mind is still on the job and I'm still riding within my comforts, but you know, who am I kidding? There's times when I'm just like, oh, this is amazing. And I, I am, it's part of the thrill, isn't it, of biking? Just pushing it, pushing it. Just teetering sometimes where you're like, oh God, I don't know if I'm gonna make that. Well, it is for me, and uh, you know, saying it back, that is irresponsible. It is massively irresponsible. But it's part of that adrenaline that, that just sort of gets me for biking. I love it. Anyway, let's get back to enjoying this. I'm steady slaving for days, just give me one shot. Slaving all day, slaving all night. We work slow days, and we work slow nights. Slaving all day, slaving all night. Now, I've just had the tractor serviced. I had the big 24,000 mile service done. And they told me that the front brake discs had worn unevenly. So they serviced the calipers and everything, but they didn't have any new brake pads. And I tell you, I can really feel it when you apply the brakes, even lightly. You can feel like a wobble in the front wheel. So I'm hoping if I sort of trail brake a little bit more with the, you know, using the front, 
I can maybe, I don't know, can, is it possible to, to wear the pads down a bit more even? I don't know, is that possible? Does that happen that way? <laughs> yeah, that's gonna... <laughs> I wonder how many people have ended up down there in those woods. We're in Slovenia, baby. Country number seven. 80 miles to Momo's. Look at these roads. And here we are, just coming up to Brestanica. There's the castle, you might remember that from the last load of vids I did when I was here. Everyone remembers Jose. Jose! Hiya! Hiya. <laughs> We've got a visitor. Martin's picked up a, a nail in his rear. Hungary, country number nine of this trip so far. Well, this is an adventure, isn't it? Sightseeing by touch. <laughs> 